Hey guys. So one of my subscribers, his daughter requested that I shoot a video showing how to make a paracord bracelet. So Morgan, this video is for you. And uh, basically I did not want to do the whole traditional cobra stitch or king cobra stitch, the one that everybody is wearing nowadays. I wanted to show you how to do something. Uh, you've already seen it. I just sent your dad uh, several of these bracelets. Um, and this, this particular one, I've heard it called the fishtail. I've also heard it uh, apocalypse bracelet. So I just wanted to show you right quick how to make this bracelet. Now the first thing that you're going to need is two strands of paracord. Okay, Both pieces are going to be roughly seven, seven foot in length. Okay, Now, after you cut your paracord, you're going to be left with this right here. Okay, It's going to want to fray out and everything else. So the first thing that you do after you cut it, trim it, is obviously you want to singe it just a little bit. Okay. Now, after you do that, you're going to grab your two pieces of paracord and let me rearrange the camera and I will get right back with you. Okay, Morgan. So what we've got now is we've got our two individual strands of seven foot of paracord. So what you're going to do is you're going to fold them in half. Okay, so we got this one, fold it over, and take our second one, we're going to fold it over. We're going to take our two middle point loops, we're going to insert one loop into the other one, just like so. Then we're going to bring these two pieces up through the bottom of one of the loops until we're left with something like this. Pull it a little snug and we're going to turn it up like this and turn it upside down. Oops, sorry Dad. It's alright, baby. It's okay to do it for me. Yes, baby. Okay. Now, you have two inside pieces and two outside pieces. We are going to bring our outside pieces Mama, on the back. Kaylee, sit back, baby. Daddy's doing a video. Mama, We're going to bring the outside pieces back around to the inside just like this I'll take this outside piece here bring it through that loop now our other outside piece through that loop be left with something like that. Go ahead and snug it down by pulling each one of the individual pieces of paracord. Until we're left with something like that. Now we're going to repeat that process. We're going to take these two pieces of outer cord, take them around the back, and bring them to the center, just like so. And we're going to bring our outside piece, this piece here, back around, up through the hole, through. And take this piece here, back around, up through the hole. And then we're going to Snug them up by pulling each one of our individual pieces of paracord again. And now we have repeated that process. I'm going to do this one more time. 
Bring it around to center. Up to the back. the back and snug down each one of our individual pieces again. Now if you get a close-up view you can see that we're starting to form our pattern now. So we're going to repeat, thank you baby, we are going to repeat that process until we're at our desired length. <clears throat> and after we have reached our desired length. We can go ahead and cease the project or the process. And all we're going to do to end the process at that point is these two outside pieces right here, this one and this one, you're going to cut off right about here, singe it with your lighter until it melts into right about here, and then all you'll be left with is these two pieces right here. After you're left with just these two pieces, you're going to simply wrap it around your finger, and we're going to create an overhand knot. like so and then you'd be left with your bracelet simply put it on bring your knot up through the hole and you will have your bracelet so there you go Morgan hopefully that helps I apologize I've never actually taught anybody how to do this before so I don't know if my instructions were very good or not. If you have any questions, just ask your dad and he can get in touch with me and I can help you out. So, thanks again. Hope you enjoyed.